Okay, welcome to Yellowstone National Park, the Old Faithful area. We can see one of the geothermal features in the distance. And this is Yellowstone in the wintertime, one of my favorite places to time to come here. Um, it's so peaceful and quiet and beautiful. We've got our little crew here ready to go do a big ski in the backcountry to a geyser. So I'm going to film different sections of our little journey. We're on the Howard Eaton Trail. Your old faithful, and that'll eventually get us over to Lone Star Geyser, uh, and then we'll come back to Old Faithful. It's about a um, it's about a eight mile, nine mile loop, something like that. It should take us three or four hours, um, but I wanted to just do sections of video so you can kind of see what it's like to be here in the winter. A little bit of our cross country ski, a little adventure here, and then once we get to the geyser, we'll talk a little bit of geology. So, but for now. A little close-up view of our little sign here and just kind of the peaceful silence of Yellowstone in the winter and we'll see you at the next stop. All right we're a little further down the trail we've actually come down off the ridge uh, we're almost to the geyser um, but it looks like our adventure crew and buddies are coming through here on the trail so we'll just let them pass by and then the next segment will be over at the geyser, hoping that it might erupt, but we'll have to see. So here's our little group of friends, four couples, adventure buddies. In the lead we have Corey, he's the intense one. <laughs> then we have Don, he, he's the risky one. Gotcha. Then we have Christy, she's the knowledgeable one. She knows everything. Fun facts. Fun facts. And then there's Jen, she's the yoga instructor. She's the flexible one. I could try it on my skis, but that would be bad. I know, that might that might get <laughs> beautiful day. That might get intense. Then there's my buddy Darren. He's the fun one. <laughs> Everything's funner with Darren. Then we have Emily. Emily is the loving one. She makes everything all about the love. I like that. There you go. And last but certainly not least is Miss America, my Miss America. Oh brother. Erica, the awesome one. So good. Yeah. All right, so we'll head over to the geyser and we'll catch you guys there. <laughs> All right, so we're at Lone Star Geyser. Got here just in time to see it erupt. Usually it erupts about every three hours or so. So pretty lucky that we're able to catch it here. But this is a cone geyser. You can see the eight to 10 foot cone built up around the vent. That's all composed of uh, a silica rich rock called sinter, although it's also sometimes called silicious sinter or geyserite. And so this cone geyser, the shape of this vent tells us that at depth, the constriction that the hot water comes up through is pretty close to the surface so it creates a nozzle effect where the water gets jetted straight up and then as the water rises it evaporates um, and as it comes back down some of it falls back down around the vent and precipitates out the silica rich material um, that forms the the center or the geyserite uh, there's another type of geyser called a fountain geyser um, and we'll showcase those in in another video here soon. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to it. Again, the nice thing about coming out here in the winter is you can approach these things pretty closely um, as long as you kind of keep a safe distance. So you can see the water jetting, probably rising maybe 30, 40 feet. I'll let you listen for a second. Really remarkable, really lucky we caught this at just the right time when it's erupting because it can take several hours to recharge uh, in the system. You can also see over here where we have patches of ground where there's no uh, trees or no snow even. And that's probably because maybe partly the steam coming out of the geyser, but uh, we can also head over there. I've got a thermometer 
I'll take over there and we can look at the temperature of the soil and there's a good chance that soil is warm enough that it melts any snow uh, that falls on it. Some geysers tend to pulsate as they erupt. Some kind of have more or less a constant uh, stream of hot water that comes out of the vent. <clears throat> I'd say this one's kind of doing mostly that, not pulsating as much. And if you look kind of close, you can actually see there's a few different uh, vents. There's kind of a main vent to the left that's pushing most of the water and steam out. But there's a, a smaller secondary one, maybe two of them actually, just to the right that's jetting a small amount of water. So probably less water coming out of maybe a smaller constriction there to the right uh, that's forming that secondary vent. So Lone Star Geyser, one of the great backcountry geysers in Yellowstone. Uh, if you come here in the summertime, there's a nice level road, uh, old roadway that's turned into a trail that you can either walk or actually ride your bike on to get here. Um, we kind of took this cross country ski path up and over the ridge to get here. Um, so a couple different ways to get here depending on the time of year that you come. Looks like it's maybe, might be waning down a little bit. I'm really not sure how long, what the duration of the eruption is at this geyser. We'll just let this go for a little bit longer and then um, I'll try to film some other sections here as we uh, continue our ski journey back towards the snow lodge at Old Faithful. The next se section we'll be, we'll be arriving at will be uh, along the Firehole River, the upper reaches of the Firehole River. So we'll be there uh, here in a few minutes. So awesome. So we'll go ahead and sign off for now, but just an exceptional view of Lone Star Geyser and full splendor. We'll wrap up the video here with a little view of the Firehole River and some small little cascades as it heads down towards Old Faithful and the upper geyser basin. Uh, just a beautiful landscape here in winter. You Just the forms with the snow and the ice and the trees, just the beauty is just magical, the stillness. So we'll go ahead and conclude this part of our adventure, but appreciate everyone for joining. And please be sure to subscribe, like, share, all those good things and uh, donate if you feel compelled to. Donate buttons at the top of the banner and under the video description. Hope you enjoyed this little winter excursion and adventure in Yellowstone.